Hello, what's up everyone? It's Aventigo here and today we're going to be going over here is why it is easier to be successful than to be mediocre aka average. Before we get started, if you're interested in internet marketing tips, financial literacy and entrepreneur motivation, make sure to follow me and share this with someone else. Let's get into it. You would probably think I was crazy if I told you that being successful is easier than being average even for me, hearing this for the first time was pretty crazy. However, crazy things have happened recently, so it's not as bad as you may think. I can confidently tell you that this is no exception. I'm not going to go on and on about how success equals wealth and power and how you can achieve those. If that's what you're looking for, then sorry to disappoint you, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm here to discuss what it truly means to be successful and how to get there, but don't just take my word for it. Listen to why multiple highly successful people believe being successful is easier for you to achieve than being average. First off, what does it mean to be successful? Is there a general answer to this question? I don't think so. The awesome thing about success is that everyone can define it the way they see fit. Growing up, your parents or peers may tell you that being successful is to be wealthy, while celebrities you see on TV every day will tell you to presume fame. Success looks very different to Usain Bolt than it does to Lewis Hamilton. Success can be as simple as getting out of bed and going to work early. It's about doing the things you need to do to grow and that changes from person to person. To you, it might be marrying the person you love and starting a family. After all, finding and marrying your soulmate isn't exactly easy. Another measure of success is from an educational standpoint. Your degree would start you on a path to where you've been dreaming about since you were a kid. Okay, Ventigo, this is nice and all, but what do you mean by all of this? Simple. There is no limit to what constitutes being successful. Everyone has different chances to be successful every day, and that includes you and me. Also, this one might be a shocker, but I'm going to say it anyway. No one, no matter how wealthy and popular they are, gets to define what success is for you or anybody else. And yes, I'm even talking about the people you care about. Because here's the thing, they've been giving you the wrong concept of success for years. Everyone wants to boast about their version of success, so they'll be projecting their definition of success onto you so they can look cooler. But what is it that makes people mediocre if it isn't about dealing with failure? Well, let's talk about that next. What does it mean to be mediocre? You may have heard the word mediocre and you probably start thinking of the movie Keep Up With The Joneses. However, this isn't always the case. Mediocrity occurs when you can't say if something or someone is wonderful, poor or ordinary at one time. And this will lead to our understanding of the word mediocre. A mediocre individual is someone you can't describe as excellent, a loser or ordinary at one time. This is where things get interesting. Did you notice how I said you can't describe them? If they aren't any of those three things, then what are they? Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? You might be asking yourself, how can someone exist in these three states? That's a good question. The only explanation I have for how someone cannot exist in any of these three situations is consistency. Let me explain. If someone is consistently good at what he does without fail, you can call him great. If someone performs consistently bad, then he is poor. If someone is consistently in the middle of the spectrum, you can say he's average. Believe it or not, average does not equate to mediocrity. Let's try another example. If someone usually gets high scores in exams, you can say he's great. If someone usually gets low scores in exams, you would say he's pretty poor. After all, you wouldn't want to claim that this person is great, even though he's had a couple of great performances in exams. Then, if someone has an overlap of great and poor performances, you wouldn't call him poor nor great, so you call him average. When you can't tell whether someone is great, poor or average based on performances, that demonstrates someone's mediocrity. Why? Because inconsistency is a mark of mediocrity. This person was not consistent in any of the three instances. Now, you know that mediocrity isn't necessarily a failure. It's more like not caring enough to be consistent. Consistency is the key to success. You might know that already, but telling you about the principles is equally as important. Okay, Ventigo, so what are the principles of success? It's not easy to achieve success and influence the world. If that were the case, then everyone would be doing it. And we both know it wouldn't be much of an accomplishment then, would it? 
That might sound counterintuitive based on what I've said so far, but hold on, you'll find that those individuals you tagged as successful developed some habits that made them achieve their goals. So let's talk about a few of them. Number one, they take advantage of introductions. How many times have you ever taken advantage of being introduced to someone because there tends to be a very good reason anytime someone introduces you to another person. Successful people take advantage of those opportunities since they know it could lead to tremendous possibilities. It's all too simple to overlook an introduction or fail to follow up on it. This could end up being a missed opportunity to form a meaningful friendship with someone who shares your interests. Always try to take advantage of being introduced to someone new. Number two, they surround themselves with like-minded people. You should know that surrounding yourself with great people is a step toward being a great person. I recommend you start doing it if you haven't already. There's a reason why many successful people were friends before they became famous. They've made an effort to surround themselves with people who can motivate them and accelerate their success from the very start. It's time to stop playing video games every day with your friends, drinking at the bar, gossiping about other people, and surround yourself with people that can help you grow. Number three, they read books. By the way, if you want to discover the top nine list of the best-selling millionaire books that you need to read if you want to call a millionaire, the link will be in the description down below. The smartest people are continuously learning something new. There's an infinite amount of knowledge and reading is a must if you want to keep improving and learning new things. Most individuals create excuses for why they haven't read much. I think it's kind of funny because most successful people avoid making excuses and instead focus on personal development. Oh, by the way, if you look at your day, you're reading all the time. Most of it is pointless stuff on your phone. But what if you were to channel that into a helpful book? You would do a lot better in your life, guaranteed. It's not about having the time, it's about making the time. But wait, what's up? It's event to go here. In case you don't know me, I'm a blogger, entrepreneur, author, investor, teacher, and affiliate marketer. If you allow me and have the energy to do so, I will teach you how to grow and scale your business so you can hire the best people, be more profitable, save money for a vacation, invest in your equipment, and pay down some debt. How does the idea of having a more stable and predictable business sound to you? Well, I want you to be successful to get the validation that you made the right career choice. If you're serious about transforming your business and life, and pushed all the way, then grab my book, Skill Scale Sustainability. The link will be in the description down below. Please click it to discover the invisible key to a session proof in your business and you can massively thrive even during a terrible economy. I hope to see you on the other side. Now, on to number four. They constantly adapt. You'll know you're not growing quick enough if you can't look back six months and see a completely different person. Have you asked yourself why successful people are always learning and adapting? They are willing to break through boundaries and modify aspects of themselves to become better, happier and more productive. And you know there are countless successful people out there that you can name who have the same qualities. Number five, they always set goals. Setting goals is underappreciated. Some people refuse to invest time because they don't believe it's worthwhile. Can you imagine not having any goals at all for your life? Yikes. Setting goals has the advantage of helping with the alignment of actions. It forces you to consider what you're planning to achieve and why. Those who can set goals and are more productive and focus on what they do. This leads to getting more done, success and greater influence. Number six, they pursue their passion. One thing to keep in mind about successful people is they don't live out other people's dreams. They follow their passions. This provides them with the drive to tackle every day with everything they've got. It also gives them the freedom to think for themselves. Life improves dramatically once you accept you can't please everybody because you've got to think for yourself. Spending time doing what you enjoy allows you to produce the highest quality work while also making it much easier to maintain consistency. But... If these are some of the things it takes to become successful, why are most people still stuck in mediocrity? Well, let's take a look at that. Why do most people get stuck in mediocrity? This is a big question that rings in the mind of most people, and the truth is, there are several reasons. Many people simply don't want to evolve and adapt to the new normal, and you can't grow if you're not willing to evolve. Do you remember the old days when communication was done through writing letters? I wouldn't be able to talk to you right now if things weren't exactly the same. 
Your day should be filled with high value activities regularly. The more you balance the few vital elements in your life and remove everything else, the better you'll be. People do what they want and eat what they want, regardless of how it affects them, by rationalising their actions and behaviours. This is, to put it bluntly, a path to mediocrity. As your image of yourself grows, you will need to make some changes. You need to stop wasting your money, time and energy purely on nonsense or amusement. You should find ways to invest more in your life and career. I'm not talking about perfection here, and I'm certainly not talking about being a workaholic either. True success comes from what Tim Ferriss refers to as mini retirements. However, what can you expect your life output to be if your daily activities are constantly low quality? The quality of your actions must improve. Your interpersonal interactions must improve. Every aspect of your life has an impact. As the saying goes, how you do anything is how you do everything. By T. Harvey Ecker. It's time I tell you why being successful is much easier than being mediocre. The answer is simple. Successful people help drive each other to more success, even their competitors fighting them to be relentless and pursue more success. But how can someone with mediocre tendencies compete with the vast majority of people fighting for scraps? If you are successful, you'll find it easier to navigate the world, since successful people do it together. Most of the time, the difference between greatness and mediocrity is often how an individual views a mistake. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. This is from Ventigo. Bye. Ooh.